Hey guys, welcome to another installment of LSD. This time I've got something special planned for you. Yes, it's actually the creepypasta, and I'm gonna read it word for word because it's not really that long. I'm uh, gonna start here and... A few years ago, while searching on X for paranormal or creepy games, I came across an obscure Japanese game called LSD Dream Emulator. Despite the game releasing in extremely limited numbers, many ROM sites had it available for download. Naturally, I downloaded it, converted it, and started playing. Unfortunately, the ISO was corrupted, or incorrectly ripped, as I couldn't get the er, any further than the title screen, and when I did, all I saw was a mess of color, and I heard a strange fuzzing sound, like radio static. I tried re-downloading the ISO multiple times, trying it from different websites, but every single one was the same. Strange colors, fuzzy static sound, I tried posting questions on various gaming sites, but hardly anyone had heard of the game, and even less had played it. I learned that the game had a cult following, both here and in Japan, and I eventually found a small Yahoo fan group dedicated to the game. I posted a question asking if anyone had it managed to get the game working on emulators, and a few days later, I received an answer. Hi, I was one of the members of the ripping group who released L uh, the LSD rip. We managed to successfully rip the game, but we have never managed to get it working on em emulators, only the original hardware. By this point, I had practically given up on it. I didn't have a PlayStation console, and my attention span was short. And I had long since moved on to other things, like a version in y uh, Yume Nikki. But earlier this year, LSD was released on the PlayStation Network, or Japanese PlayStation Network. Okay, sorry. I remember how much I had tried to play it, even browsing eBay a few times in a vague hope to, or that a cheap copy sufficed, or surfaced. So I made an account, bought a J, uh, Japan PSN a, uh, card, and purchased the game. After downloading and installing, I began playing it. The PlayStation logo came up as usual, but the SEI was inst or, or but it was uh, but with SEI instead as it was a Japanese game. There was no copyright screen, but they had re removed it from several other games as well. The intro video started playing after that. Different colored words bouncing across the screen, spelling out linking uh, the sapient dream multiple times. Apparently that's what LSD stood for. And I pressed the circle button. Or, I pressed the circle button and the game went to this title screen. There was no press start screen. It just went straight to the screen with four or five options. Start, save, load, and options. Above start, there was a line of text telling uh, you what day you were on. It displayed a day one. I chose start. One thing I learned from, Yahoo gr uh, from the Yahoo group was that the first day was always in a Japanese house with three floors. The content of the house were random, the entire game was played in first person view. I walked along the hallway, I started in, and walked to the bookcase, and the screen faded to white. That's the strange thing about the game, you can interact with anything, walking into anything moves you to new areas, which, is, uh, which the game calls linking. The white faded away, and I was in a field. I couldn't see very far into the distance because the area had a fog a few feet ahead of you. The graphics were so basic with having mo uh, with most having no textures to them. I walked onwards, eventually bumping into a tree which sent me to another area. This time things had gotten a bit more sinister. I was in a dark city, standing on a men uh, metal pier. A boat loomed in the fog out, in, uh, out on the water and the lamppost lit the street. I walked down the road and came across alleyways. 
Graffiti covered some of the walls, strange, multicolored eyes staring out at me. Then I had heard a noise, and the screen fl uh, flashed quickly. I turned around. Just behind me, a man had appeared. He was wearing a gray hat and a long trench coat. He was walking slowly towards me. He almost glided across the ground. I tried to walk backwards to get away, but my controller wasn't responding, and he was getting closer. For a split second, two red dots glared out from under his hat. Then the screen flashed again. This time, I was back in the house. Something had changed, though. The textures of the walls were replaced were, uh, with pictures of real violence. Women being raped, children torn apart, cannibalism, torture, a Japanese man breaking his own fingers with a hammer. As I moved through the house, the picture slowly began getting worse, and the music began distorting and, sl uh, and slowing down. The corridor was longer than it was before, and it was getting darker. I knew what was at the end. He was. I moved onwards, the bile rising in my throat, and fighting the urge to vomit as the pictures began escalating to the terrible levels of obesity and violence. A few steps forward, a man removing a young boy's legs. A few more, a pregnant woman cutting out her uh, her own fetus. Further still, a gang man, uh, a gang of men, cut a cow into pieces, wrapping the internal organs around their bodies. Closer to the end, people being forced to eat the corpse of a child, vomiting as they eat the parts. Finally, I reached the end of the corridor. The screen faded black, and a line of text appeared. HTTP colon backslash backslash charweb.webly.com slash tsdgmn.html I wrote the link down quickly, and a few seconds later, the game faded to white again and returned to the title screen. This time, the status said, D-Day, double zero. I chose to start again, but the game wouldn't, uh, wouldn't let me continue. I restarted the PS3 and the status went back to A Day 1. Before I played it again, I tried the link. It still worked and the page came up, filled with Japanese writing. Further down the page, there was a picture of, a, uh, of the gray man, as he normally appeared. I can't re uh, read Japanese, but one of my friends could. He lived in Japan for a few years, he could also read and speak the language flu er, so he could read the, and speak the lang uh, language fluidly. I copied the writing down and called him up. After he showed up, I spent the next few hours telling him what happened. Obviously, he didn't believe me. Who would? But he still agreed to take a look at the writing on the page. Despite several tries, I couldn't get the web page up again, so I handed him the copy I had made. He glanced at it for a few minutes, then suddenly turned white. He handed it back to me and sat down on the couch. He said nothing for five minutes, then he told me what it said. If you are reading this, well done. You have seen the man as he is. What he did to me as I slept, as I dreamt his dark nightmare, you have also seen it. These violent images were him. He has no form, only the dream man. He caused all of this, those events in the images. He took those innocents and possessed them. He made them do it. He made the... Uh, he made me make that game. Gray, 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 As he finished, he stood up and grabbed his coat and said, Whatever you saw in that game, don't tell me anything about it. Then he left. Next week, he went back to the uh, Japan. I couldn't touch another console after that. I destroyed the PS3 and replaced my computer. A few weeks later, uh, after he left for Japan, I got a call. He had killed a woman and then committed suicide. The woman he had killed, Osama, uh, Osamu Soto, was the lead designer on LSD. If you guys are wondering, this game really does exist, but it isn't nearly as violent. That little last part was in parentheses, and, um, yeah. The reason that I chose this as my first little outing is, um, well, it's a, it's a good story. I like it. Um, it also has a small sequel to it, and I might read that later on. Um, but it's about the book, not the game, so... Maybe. We'll see. Also, um, let's see... 
Yeah, um... The footage you've been seeing is actually, uh, pre-recorded. Ooh, nice. And, um, yeah, I, I was playing it, and I'm about to actually just say, you're give up on this particular dream. <laughs> and there it was. Um, but yeah, I really like the story, and it goes so well with the ambiance of the, uh, of the, uh, you know, of the game it's, it's based on. God, that's loud. Um. <laughs> and I still have no idea what those are saying. Anyway, the Gray Man itself is just supposed to be, you know, this guy who deletes your dreams. And sufficiently creepy character as he is. So, yeah, the, the game is perfect for the type of thing that, uh, that the story was going for. And you could actually legitimately see that kind of stuff in the game. Granted, it's, uh... It's actually a lot harder to see that kind of thing actually happening the way it's said. But, honestly... Ooh, Spaceman! Anyway, honestly, it's a pretty good story. And, um... Yeah. And I like it anyway. Oh, and here's that uh, Nightmare City dreamscape that he was talking about. I don't run into the Gray Man here, sadly. That would have been perfect. Um, sadly, instead, all I get is just, you know, wandering around a uh, desolate nightmare environment. Ooh, there's a little bit of red. I'm looking for... The first time I ever played this game, honestly, um, I came into this exact environment and there was like seven dead bodies, so that's what I'm looking for here, is to try and find at least just one. <laughs> because that added to the creepiness. Also, since nobody really watches these, this will be my last upload for LSD, so, um... Sorry for those of you people who enjoy the, uh, the game. Um, I kind of do, but it's not one of those that I really need to continue on with. Um, I will be continuing on with JoJo and what's in here in a little bit. Um, I'll get to that actually recording on, uh, on uh, Tuesday, I believe. Um, I'm going to try and actually set up a recording schedule for myself. Like, uh, with Diablo will be, uh, that was the murder that I was looking for. Anyway, uh, Diablo will be, hey, here's the pier. Diablo will be, um, probably on, like, Friday, Saturday, whenever I have a, oh, God, the slowdown, the chugging, uh because of the flashing of the water, for which I sincerely, uh, sincerely apologize. Um, yeah. Uh, so Diablo Friday, JoJo Wednesday, if I can get Spore up and running, that'll be... Uh, that'll probably be like Sunday, Monday, whenever I have time. Um... But other than that, I'll try and find something else to get... Th these are all whenever I'm going to be recording, not whenever I'm going to be uploading. Uploads are going to be less frequent, I suppose. Uh, well, not exactly less frequent. Jay! Little shout out there. Perfect. Um, something changed. I don't know what. Oh, well. Um... Let's get in the tractor. Yeah, these places take you to different places every time. Um, yeah. Anyway, um, sorry, I was entranced with the uh, 
entranced by the, uh... Yeah. The way everything is, actually. I'm just kind of indulging in the scenery because it's awesome. If this actually had, uh, like a HD remake, that would be amazing. Anyway, um, be scary as shit, too. I, I suck as a commentator. I'm, or I apologize. Um, also, if you notice, I do tend to follow. Wow, what the hell is that? This has to be like a shop of some kind, and I want to talk to him. The fact that the music is always like fractals and fragments is kind of interesting. This game doesn't really have music so much as like an ambient sound system. Because everything is always different. Uh, Moon looks like a girl's throne? Star looks like a guy's. So moon or star? Moon or star? Star! Where are we going next? Back to the city. This is really different. Someone's playing hopscotch. I wanna play! Hey, hey, let me play. Uh, you guys have seen this place once before, and I fell off the map. Oh god, I'm in hell. Um, yeah. Yeah, the one thing that this does and does well is, uh, is ambience. And like I said, you guys will notice that I do kind of tend to follow the sun whenever I'm in these places. It's the only guiding marker there is. So, it's one of those things you kind of have to do. Well, not really, but... I'm looking for seriousness in a dream. Go figure. Okay, there's the giant signpost. That should take me right back to the carnival ground. Ooh, crystal! What's the crystal take me to? Tell me! Back here. At the train station. Uh, for an unlimited random environment generator, this place is kind of limited. I think I've seen just about all the environments they have. Anyway, like I said, this is the end. Later.